Go, go, go. Okay, super fast. Uh, you guys, she is obsessed with the mud puddle. She's like, Dad, can I please go through the mud puddle? I was like, okay, fine. Hey, why is your bike all muddy? All right, you guys, I'm just wrapping up some work for the day and I am so ready to do something a little bit more fun. It's been far too long since we've busted these bad boys out. So that's what we're gonna do today. So the last time I went riding, I didn't check my tire pressure and I just checked it before I did this, like one or two PSI. It's supposed to be at about uh, 11, I think, for the back tire, so I was way under. All right, got both bikes loaded up, got the helmets loaded up, got the gear bag loaded. Now all I need to do is make sure the GoPro is charged and we should be good to go. So I absolutely love the GoPro and all the different variations of it, but the one downside is, is I mean, it's great because it's tiny, but holy moly, look at all the parts. Those are just GoPro parts. So I mean, it's super convenient that this thing is this tiny, but to use it, to use it well, you have to have all that. That being said, there is one new GoPro accessory that I am very excited about. This right here should make our dirt bike videos so pretty. For those of you that don't know what this is, is it's a three axis gimbal that's supposed to basically stabilize your footage. So that way, let me just give you an example, hold on. With a normal GoPro mount, you put it in your little case, you mount it to your head, and then wherever your head moves, all the little bounces translate to your camera. This little device, with the press of a button, with the press of a button, there it is. This takes all those movements that pretend my hand is my helmet and smooths them out like butter. So look at all this. I can be like and it stays perfectly smooth. I am so excited about this. I've had this for a long time. I've just never hooked it up to the helmet and taken the time because the more gear you have, the better your footage looks, but the more time it takes. It's like this bell curve of like diminishing returns. So the more time and effort and gear you put into it, the better your product will get. But then you start hitting this point where it's like, okay, I'm putting up so much time and so much energy into it and I'm only seeing a little bit more. So I'm hoping this will be a big leap and it'll be worth it, but we'll find out how much of a pain in the butt it is. But I think it's gonna be pretty. What do you think, Apollo? You think it's gonna be pretty? Yeah, Apollo agrees. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have picked up baby chick from preschool. How was your day today? But, uh, that's it, give me a, <laughs> what are you eating? Her bagel it always from makes this me morning. nervous when I look back and she's eating something and I didn't give her food. Her bagel from this morning. Bagel from this morning, okay. Anyway, so we picked her up and now, what are we gonna do? Go back. What was that? Go Say it a little louder. Go back. <laughs> it was actually, back. Super cute. We went in to pick her up at preschool and the first thing she said to me when she ran up and gave mom a hug She's like, okay dad, can we go ride dirt bikes now? So that that made my heart warm inside But the first thing she remembered is oh, Ted's here, time to ride dirt bikes. No, the first thing she remembered was to give me a hug. That's true. Mommy first, then dirt bikes. A lot or a little excited? <laughs> what? Huge excited. Excellent. Let's go. Oh, what's that? Little excited? No, you're big excited, I thought. How big? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go! 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 Hey guys, we've made it up to the Jones Creek Trail, and unfortunately, I made a huge mistake. I just guessed when sunset was, and sunset I thought was, you know, 7.30. Nope, sunset is now at 6.30, so we have like a half an hour before it gets pitch black out here. So, baby chick's gonna ride first, just so she can have some fun out here, because that's what it's all about, is having her ride. She's all suited up and ready to go. You ready? Okay. Go ahead, go up into this big open area. Go. 
You can go a little faster, it's okay. There you go. In the mud! <laughs> go, 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 good, good. Go up that way. Nice. Through the mud! <laughs> okay, break. <laughs> nice. Keep going, go, just go up here. And then turn around over here. Nice and slow. Doing good. All right, go to mommy. Uh, you guys, she is obsessed with the mud puddle. She's like, Dad, can I please go through the mud puddle? I was like, okay, fine. Hey, why is your bike all muddy? You went in the mud puddle? <laughs> All right, let's go up here and turn around and do it again. Go all the way to the puddle, but watch out for the log. Watch out for the log. Good. Okay, go up and around the puddle like you did before. You're doing good. There you go. And then keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Good, good, good. And then go fast to mom. Yeah! Go, go, go. Okay, super fast. All right guys, now that Baby Chick had her turn, she rode around that little area up there. It's time for me to take the bike out for a quick ride before the sun completely disappears. And actually you might be noticing that this GoPro footage looks a little blurry and that's because it's so dark that it's trying to compensate for how dark it is and it's slowed down our uh, shutter speed so that way we have a lot more motion blur. If that doesn't make any sense to you, no worries. Here is a quick example. This is how dark it actually is in here. And then this is back to what the camera is trying to compensate for so you guys can see what's going on. So, so again, sorry about that. But the good news is, is check out the stabilization on this GoPro footage. This is amazing. Like there's hardly any jitter, super smooth. And actually later on, you'll see a shot of me fast forwarding this footage and it looks amazing, or at least in my mind. So I'm really excited to take this gear out and get some footage during the day when it's bright out because I think it's gonna be amazing. Anyways, <laughs> random people on the side of the road, not sure why they stopped their quads, but I didn't have time to stop and chat, so let's keep riding, because the sun is almost gone.
All right, you guys, Ashley had a pregnancy craving, so we are headed to Safeway to get some garlic bread and lemon snapple, I believe it is. I don't know, pregnancy's weird. Let's go. Success, garlic bread and Snapple. Let's go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 